The story of Muhammad Nassar Khan, also known as Meggy Khan, paints a dark picture of crime and family ties in Bradford. Connected to both high-profile businessmen and notorious criminals, his saga intertwines with the lives of his well-known businessman brother, Fazal Rayman, and his notorious drug lord brother, Faraman Khan. Meggy Khan's criminal journey gained momentum after the death of boxer Maru in 2005. Meggy Khan quickly made a name for himself by targeting drug dealers through a series of robberies. This marked the start of his public image as a gangster, setting him on a path that would eventually lead to murder. The story took a tragic turn with the sudden death of his nephew, Kasim Raymond, in 2009. The inquest into Kasim's death revealed a grim descent into paranoia and the fatal consequences of heavy cocaine use. This event serves as a stark reminder of the collateral damage caused by a life of crime. Meggy Khan's criminal activities escalated to a violent confrontation involving James Fletcher. In a shocking incident, Meggy reportedly shot Fletcher in the leg. Fletcher, known for his close ties to the Daniels brothers, became entangled in Meggy Khan's criminal undertakings. This shooting had serious repercussions leading to a breakdown in Meggy's relationship with the Daniels brothers. The fallout from this incident led to a fracture in previously established alliances, creating tension, especially with the Daniels brothers. Raymond, the brother of Javaz Daniels, became a prime suspect in a subsequent act of violence. Tensions reached a boiling point when Meggy Khan became the target of an attempted attack. A masked gunman aimed at him outside his girlfriend's house further adding to the complexity and danger surrounding his criminal persona. The plot deepened as it was discovered that Meggy Khan was not only connected to Javaz Daniels through friendship, but also had a familial link to Javaz's father. This connection added a deeper dimension to the dynamics between Meggy and Javaz, transforming their bond from a simple schoolyard friendship into a complicated web of family ties. Meggy Khan's turbulent history in Bradford involved various disputes with rival groups, one of which included a notable clash with Eflak Khan. In a one-on-one -on -one confrontation, Meggy reportedly emerged victorious in a physical fight. However, the conflict intensified when Meggy and his associates allegedly escalated the situation by stabbing Zulfikar Ali, who was the brother-in-law of Eflat Khan. This incident further fueled the ongoing feud between Meggy Khan and the rival group. Meggy Khan's conflicts went beyond street-level disputes, reaching into Bradford's business community. Notably, he became embroiled in a heated dispute with Zishan Khan and David Panton, owners of the Saffron Restaurant. This conflict further illustrates how Meggy Khan's criminal activities and feuds extended into various aspects of life in Bradford, affecting not only criminal circles, but also local businesses and their proprietors. The tension reached a boiling point when Zishan Khan sought help from his Liverpool contact, Christopher Chung, to obtain firearms. The arsenal included a Mac-10 submachine gun, a pump-action shotgun, a sniper rifle, and live ammunition. The situation escalated dramatically when armed police intercepted a van entering Bradford, uncovering the weapons and leading to the arrest of Zishan Khan and David Panton. This incident not only highlighted the ruthlessness of Meggy Khan's methods, but also demonstrated the extreme lengths to which his adversaries would go to protect their families and businesses. Meggy Khan's criminal trajectory took a darker turn in 2017 with his involvement in the Yasa Yakub case, accused of being a police informant, a claim that surfaced shortly after a meeting with Yakub aimed at resolving a dispute. This revelation added a troubling layer to Khan's criminal profile. The circumstances surrounding Jakob's death in 2017 are particularly complex. Jakob, a well-known figure in Bradford's criminal underworld, met with associates including Meggy Khan and Mohsin Amin at Akbar's Cafe. The purpose of the meeting was to discuss actions against another individual allegedly involved in drug theft. Later that day, Jakob was shot by police on a slip road to the M62 motorway. His death was the result of a police operation targeting his involvement in organized crime. Jakob's criminal history included numerous offenses, assault, handling stolen goods, robbery, possession of firearms, and attempting to obstruct justice. 
The investigation into Yakub's death and the broader criminal activities of Meggie Khan and his associates continues to reveal the deep-seated violence and intrigue within Bradford's criminal networks. In 2008, Meggie Khan was charged with conspiring to sell Class A drugs worth $700,000. Although the case was eventually dropped due to lack of evidence, his criminal connections continued to unfold. Khan was closely linked with Safdar Khan, who gained notoriety in 2002 for killing Dexter Coleman, also known as X. This incident occurred outside the Young Lion Cafe in Lum Lane, Manningham, in 2001. Safdar Khan's connection to the late boxer Maru adds another layer to Meggy Khan's complex criminal past. Meggy Khan was known to have associated with Maru's firm earlier in his criminal career, further intertwining his history with the criminal underworld. The climax of Meggy Khan's criminal saga came in 2019 when he was sentenced to life in prison for the murder of Amris Iqbal, also known as Major, in a hit-and-run incident. The events of October 3, 2018 revealed a calculated and ruthless plot orchestrated by Meggy Khan, his trusted lieutenant Tony Grant, and four others. They targeted Iqbal and intended to seriously harm him but not kill him, according to the judge. The group used a silver Kia Sedona for its size and low profile. As they approached their target, Khan, driving the car, deliberately struck Iqbal and a second man, Adnan Ahmed, with lethal force. Iqbal suffered fatal head injuries. CCTV footage from the Whitehall service station captured Khan driving the Kia Sedona on the day of the incident. To destroy this crucial evidence, Meggie Khan and Grant plotted to rob and then set fire to the CCTV footage with the help of Salman Ismail. Meggie Khan and Grant were convicted of Iqbal's murder, and Khan was also found guilty of attempting to murder Adnan Ahmed. All three, including Ismail, were convicted of conspiracy to pervert the course of justice, with Ismail also convicted of arson. The legal aftermath included the confiscation of Khan's assets, such as his Porsche Cayenne and a luxury apartment in Huddersfield. The National Crime Agency, NCA, further exposed financial ties within the criminal network through their investigation into businessman Mansour Mahmoud Hussein. Hussein, a Leeds property developer, was suspected of laundering money for gangsters. He surrendered $10 million worth of property following the NCA investigation. Hussein is believed to have used his property empire across West Yorkshire, Cheshire, and London to launder money for criminals, including drug traffickers and murderers like Meggie Khan. Khan's criminal reign, marked by extortion of individuals and businesses in Bradford, ended with his imprisonment in 2019. He now serves a life sentence at HMP Whitemore, a significant chapter in Bradford's criminal history. Meggie Khan's incarceration in 2019 was a pivotal moment in Bradford's criminal landscape. His reign of extortion, which had long instilled fear among individuals and businesses in the city, came to an end as he began serving a life sentence. Khan's criminal activities had earned him a notorious reputation as one of the top figures in Bradford's underworld. But his arrest and sentencing marked a significant shift in the city's criminal dynamics. As Khan serves his sentence at Hampi Whitemore, the repercussions of his criminal actions continue to resonate throughout the criminal network. The dismantling of his empire has led to a realignment of power and influence among criminal groups in Bradford and beyond. The extensive investigations and legal battles surrounding Khan's case have also shed light on the complex web of criminal activity that he was involved in, revealing the far-reaching connections and operations of organized crime. The ongoing scrutiny of Khan's associates and financial ties, particularly through investigations by the National Crime Agency, underscores the broader impact of his criminal activities. The exposure of money laundering operations and connections to other criminal figures highlights the extensive network that Khan was part of. And the legal actions taken against his associates demonstrate the commitment to dismantling these criminal enterprises. As the criminal underworld continues to evolve, the story of Meggy Khan serves as a stark reminder of the consequences of criminal behavior and the efforts of law enforcement to bring such figures to justice. The shift in criminal power dynamics following Khan's arrest will likely influence future developments in Bradford's criminal scene.
as new leaders and factions emerge to fill the void left by his downfall. Stay informed about the latest updates and developments in the criminal underworld as the intricate dynamics and shifting alliances continue to shape the ongoing drama in organized crime.